Here are top five productivity tips for programmers, software engineers, developers, or anyone who works in the tech space. As a full-time software engineer and data engineer, I'm responsible for managing software development as well as data management for my entire company. To ensure that I stay focused and deliver projects on time, I follow these five simple productivity rules. Well, first things first, you need to prioritize your tasks and do the important ones first. Doing this will help you stay focused, organized, and avoid wasting any time on tasks that are less critical. Seriously guys, it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind and feel like you have to tackle everything, but that should not be the case. Trust me, if you're already doing that, that's the worst thing you could do to yourself and get burned out easily. To overcome this, I recommend that you take some time at the beginning of each week to figure out the most important tasks on your to-do list and focus on those first. This will help you stay organized and focused and ensure that you're making the most of your time. By focusing on the most important tasks first, you can ensure that you're working on the things that have the greatest impact or consequences if not completed. Plus, it could be really satisfying to cross off those big item lists and feel accomplished. Just be sure to keep an eye on the overall workload and make sure that you're not neglecting any important tasks along the way. To manage these tasks, there are many tools out there. To name a few, there's Asana, Trello, Todoist, Notion, and the list goes on and on. You can even use simple Excel or Google spreadsheets, or heck, even use pen and paper to keep it super simple. If you're struggling to stay focused at work, well then this second tip might be just for you. Well, it turns out that there might be some truth to the idea that humans can only do deep work for about four hours a day. And to do this, you need to get rid of all the distractions and zero in on your work. It is important to make most of those four hours of deep work by eliminating any distractions that could put you away from work. Trust me, I know how tempting it is to pull out your phone and check every notification that pops up or have multiple tabs open up in your browser or you might be doing some online shopping. So just don't do that when you're focused for four hours. All those distractions can really add up and take away from your focus and make you less productive. Now, I personally do all my deep work in the first half of the day. And usually by lunchtime, I'm all caught up with work and requests. The second part of the day is when I usually attend meetings or socialize with my coworkers or go for coffee breaks. My next tip is plan to work hard. I find that it's most productive to keep working until a task is finished. As long as I'm able to maintain my focus and not get burned out, continuously working on a single task until it has finished really helps me make progress on my work. This helps me avoid having to switch between multiple tasks, which can be time consuming and disrupt my workflow. However, it's important to find a balance and not to push yourself too hard. If I'm finding that I'm struggling to maintain focus or experiencing burnout, it might be more productive to take a break and rest and return later with a fresh perspective. Also, it's important to consider the nature of the task, how long it will take to complete. If the task is very large or complex, it might be more productive to break it down into small, manageable chunks and work them one at a time, rather than trying to finish the whole thing at once. Try adopting these strategies and try to work out a balance. By finding the balance and adopting these strategies, you could tweak them however you like and be productive in the end. My fourth tip is about taking breaks and giving yourself the time to rest and recharge. It might sound like I'm contradicting my previous tip, which is to plan to work hard, but it's not. Let me explain. I know sometimes it can be tempting to just keep working and plow through your to-do list, especially if you're feeling really motivated. But the truth is that if you work for long hours without taking breaks, this will decrease your productivity. What needs to happen is that your mind needs to take a rest and recharge in order to stay fresh and focused. And that's why it's so important to take regular breaks, whether it be a quick stretch for going for coffee or going to your nearest Starbucks and getting a coffee with your coworker. Or heck, even checking your phone and rewarding yourself by watching a YouTube video. These breaks can help you come back to work with a renewed energy and focus and be more productive in the long run. So don't be afraid to take a break and give yourself a time you need to rest and recharge. Your mind and body will thank you. This brings us to my last tip. My last tip to boost productivity is to consider investing in good tools and equipment. For example, getting a nice desk to go along with a chair and maybe getting a nice monitor to go along with a decent spec computer might set you up for success. These type of investments can make a big difference in your ability to do things more efficiently and effectively. Let me give you my example. I started my YouTube journey. I was struggling to edit and render videos. This was because my PC at the time 
was outdated and it was a complete piece of shit. I said enough was enough and decided to buy a MacBook Pro and my productivity along with my mood went up. I was able to edit renders video a lot quicker, basically produce more content in the same amount of time. By the way, I recently did a video on my desk setup in which I showcase all the things I had used to stay productive. So check that video out when you have time. But back to the topic, what I was saying is that investing in good tools and equipment can be a steep initial investment, but it can pay off in the long run, which can help you increase your productivity and efficiency. In conclusion, there are many strategies that you can use to boost productivity, but some of the tips that include setting clear goals, prioritizing tasks, eliminating distractions, taking breaks, and investing in good tools and equipment. By following these tips, you can improve your productivity and be more efficient in your work. It's important to find what works best for you and be proactive about managing your time and workload. Being organized and focused, you can accomplish and achieve great success in your career as a programmer, software engineer, or whatever you do. Well, guys, that's it for this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. Remember to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Until next time, I'll see you again.